Black Magic Intensity Pro Capture Card, Part 4, or how to set up your Black Magic Intensity Pro Capture Card. Okay, now the previous one uh, explained pretty much the basic software. This one will explain how to get your capture card working with your computer. <clears throat> now, as, as I said in the last video, as soon as you put in your capture card, it, uh, and you start up your computer, it'll come up with a screen that's like a window that Windows will come up with the window that says need to find drivers for your media device, something like that. Not sure what it says for Linux or Mac or if it says anything, but when you do get that message, you're going to want to hit cancel on it, go to the Blackmagic website, and then download the drivers, and then install the drivers. Now for mine at this current point in time, it's 3.6. And same with, well, Media Express is 2.0.3. Might be different if you're watching the studios from now, but that's just because that's the way time works. And there's also manuals in here if you want to go through it. So, once you get that installed, and you're going to have to restart your computer once or twice, but once you get that installed, you're going to want to go to Start, All Program, I mean, just go to Start if you're on Windows Vista or 7, then just search Black, or not Blask, Black, there we go. And then find Black Magic Control Panel. If you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you should be able to find it pretty easy. If you are on other operating systems, uh, you're gonna have to go into the wherever you install it, wherever the Black Magic uh, folder is installed on the hard drive, and then find the Control Panel there. Using Google might be better than using me for <coughs> helping, but yeah, just search for it. You should be able to find it. And you need to open it up, and this does mess up some people because I was reading through when I had problems and this messed me up but messed up some people and you're gonna need to set the output to whatever you're using usually generally it's HDMI and YRY and BY which YRY and BY is the component signals for input do the same thing if you're using HDMI choose HDMI video and audio or if you're using HDMI video and the RCA audio but if you use a component, just use YRY, BY, video, and analog RCA audio. For NTS, uh, set up an NTSC. I would keep that where it is. Of course, if you're in Japan, set it to 0, .0. Or, uh, set Keep that checked. Uh, keep these off. Some people will tell you to put these on. I say don't listen to them. Keep it off. And the only reason I can think of to use the input and output processing is because because like your TV is not big enough or your like output processing I could see it would be useful if you're not on an HD TV but you want to record an HD anyway but input processing if some people say they use it because their computer isn't fast enough to handle HD which I have to say if your computer isn't fast enough you should not be using this capture card but I would keep those off if I were you you can play around with them if you want so then hit OK. It needs administrative privileges, but I'm just going to hit cancel. You're going to want to hit OK. So then you're going to want to go to start all programs, find Blackmagic Design, and Media Express, and open up Media Express. Then this big window comes up. Now let me turn on my Xbox anyway. Um, so when right now it defaults on the playback tab, I'm going to keep it on that for a minute. And when you first open it up, go to edit and then go to preferences. Now this part messed me up. Uh, pretty much before you set all of this up, you're going to want to set your Xbox and your PlayStation 3 to either 720p, like to display in 720p, or 1080i because the Blackmagic Capture Card will only detect 720p, 1080i, and 480i signals. So set your 360 and PlayStation 3 like display signals to 720p or 1080i before you set all this up and uh, that's what you need to do to get it to work. Now if you're with a Wii and you're using component cables, which is kind of, you kind of need to, um, set it to 480i because it can't detect 480p. Now if you're using HD 720p, if you're in America, set it to HD 720p 59.94. If you're uh, for 1080i, set it to HD 1080i 59.94. If you're in Europe or Asia, set it to HC 720p 50 or HC 720, I mean 1080i 50. So 59.94 is for America, 50 is for Europe or Asia. NTSC, I believe, is 480i signal, so set that to NTSC if you want to record your Wii. Now for capture file format, default is AVI 8-bit. When I did that, my audio was way off, like it was way behind, and I was 
kind of annoyed with it, and I was getting really mad on it with it. Then I switched it to AVI Motion JPEG, and everything worked f perfectly. Like the audio was spot on, so like it, nothing was unsynced. So I would say set it to AVI Motion JPEG. It also makes it much, 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 much smaller fi video file than AVI 8-bit. So set that to JPEG. There really is no difference between the two that I can see besides that JPEG works. Then uh, check this box. I, I think that's default. I'll just leave that alone. And you can also set your audio and video capture to where you want it to. Uh, default, it's on a video capture in Blackmagic folder, I think. Then uh. Capturing still frames. Still frames is basically a snapshot. Set that where you want to do. Also, now by default these two boxes are checked. I would uncheck those because uh, for me I recorded and then it said could not record because drop frames were detected. And I checked those, started recording, I played it back, and there was no difference. There was no lag. There was no like spikes or anything. So I don't think this really does much. But uh. By drop frames, I think it means if it goes from like 60 frames per second to like 30 back to 60, which consoles will do that a lot. So uh, keep those unchecked. Now also keep everything else the same. Hit OK. Now when you're ready to capture, click Capture. And if everything is set up right and you did everything correctly, it should appear. You should see your Xbox here or your PlayStation 3 or your Wii, depending on what you're using. And you can go along with this. And most HD like such as the hapage, the preview the preview screen has a huge amount of lag between when you move say your uh, controller like tell it to go left or right and when it'll actually move but for this you move it and it's as if you're playing it just on a mini TV now uh, when you're ready to capture you can just come here and click capture and if you want a snapshot just do grab frame which is right there and uh, you can either press capture down here go to file capture now or press control R so I'm just gonna capture and right now you're going to see lag because of the screen capture and uh, it should not lag for you if your computer is fast enough so don't worry about the lag but because I'm using screen capture it's lagging for me but that's pretty much fine then when you're done either hit control R or click capture down here and it'll appear right there also appear wherever you saved it where you'll be able to play it there uh, play it back and then edit it so uh, that's like pretty much how you use your capture card and hmm, something else. Oh right, You're, most of you can see my gamer tag there. Um, I'm probably not going to accept your gamer tag because I do not accept random gamer tags. But most of you probably aren't here for game, my gamer tag. But anyway, um, congratulations. That's how you set up your capture card. And if you do everything right, you should be able to edit the file and just record like you normally would. <laughs> now also because that's what I was going to say. The uh, if you set the output outright, like set the output component cables from the breaker from the Blackmagic Intensity capture card to your TV, you should be able to switch to the channel that those component cables are in and then play on your TV while it's recording on your computer, which I have to say, playing on your playing on the actual screen of your TV is way better than having to play in that little preview screen. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, so uh, thanks for watching and I hope that most of you make some decent videos with this. and. All the links to everything I've explained will be in this video in the description, which is below the video now. And uh, so go to the description for links and other information and the links to the other videos of the tutorial. And thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, send me a message or comments, and I'll do my best to answer.